Hi everybody, I'm, I'm from Belgium and I'm, I'm very happy to announce that after two years of development we, we have our first application which is on the Apple Store today, this morning, so this is a, a world premiere. <laughs> Thank you. And you, you are the first ones to hear about it, even before our own country in Belgium, which is sleeping for the moment. <laughs> So, in a few words, uh, 2007, uh, my son was very sick, he got bone cancer, and he spent one year in the hospitals. And we could see there, today he's alive, he's very in good shape, he lost his leg to the cancer, but he's, he's alive. And I spent one year in hospitals, I could see that we have very good medicine today, but the management of information, sharing of information is very bad, both in Europe and in the United States, and we have to do something about it. And we have to put the patient in the loop, to empower the patient. So, to solve that problem, we developed a number of, of elements, which is part of what we call a synchronized health record, right? Which is part, part personal health record, as I'm going to show you today. That's for the patient. The patient will have his own information with him all the time on the device, not in the cloud. We don't store information in the cloud because we want safety. And there's going to be an electronic health record for doctors and then the platform to synchronize them uh, together. Uh, all seamlessly, automatically. As you can see here on the first screen, there's some kind of news uh, element that we can share with uh, the patients and with, uh, with the doctors. And if I click on the second line here, you can see the, a number of either the records from my family, my, my spouse, my, my children, if I'm a patient. If I'm a doctor, there's going to be a few, a few hundred or thousands of them over there. And if I click on one, you can see all the details about that person. That's a very basic uh, medical record here. With This is the overview. If I click on, on a field, there's lots of information that you can enter very easily manually, or it, that you can uh, enter with a, a, a picture of a document. If you receive a paper document, I'm going to show you quickly one example of this. Yeah, here, this is in French to show you that it's an international application. Yes, yeah, so that's the document I received from the hospitals, and I just wanted to have it in my medical record, so I take, took a picture. It's in the medical record, and it's shared with my doctor, okay? Why? Because we have here, in the application, the possibility to share any part of the medical file, everything, or a very small part. I decide what I share, and I decide who I share it with. I have complete control over that, okay? So, quickly here, the sharing rules part, you can see that for Every rule, I can create as many rules as I want. I can decide who I share it with, my doctor, my spouse, some, some doctor from my family I want to ask for a second advice. I'm deciding which uh, medical record I share, my own, my children's. And in the medical record itself, I can even choose what fields I want them to see, right? So I could share just my weight with Weight Watchers if I want. And I can share a, lot, a big part of my medical record with my family doctor and then a smaller part with some, somebody from my family. So I have a very fine-grained way to exchange, to, to select the information I'm exchanging. Once the rule is done, it goes automatically. Okay? Uh, this is the first version. It's on the App Store today. What our plans now are to collect data from HealthKit, for example. So all the connected devices that you, you buy will store their information in HealthKit. We will collect them in the medical file and make them in a central place, and then allow you to share them those information with doctors and other people in, the, in, in your circle of trust. We call the circle of trust a number of people that you trust to share your medical information with. Okay? Over the years, of course, we have a lot of work to do to synchronize information with all the sources because today your medical file is distributed in one, two, three hospitals, in one, two, three doctors, and in your head, in, on paper, in your spouse's uh, head. So it's, it's all over the, in the connected devices too, on the applications of those connected devices. So what we want to do is to centralize all the information from all those sources in your medical file and allow you to do whatever you want to do with it. If you go abroad, you come, come to our country in Europe, you're welcome. And if you have any kind of medical problem over there, if you have all your medical files with you, you can go to a doctor and show your medical file, even if if it does not connect to our systems in Europe or, or whatever. So it's a very easy way to collect all your information, to manage it, and then to uh, share it with whoever you want to. The application is free for both doctors and patients, and we plan to, to uh, monetize it later with ads 
and uh, without touching your data, of course, we're from Europe, so data privacy is very important. And uh, with additional modules for, for doctors, like financials or billing and things like that. Well, I, I think I've covered the most important things, so I'm already open to questions. I, I use my five minutes, I believe. Are there any questions? Yes? Yeah, yeah. We we have we've been here in the, the the valley for just four weeks to study the American market, and we we have looked at HIPAA in a first approach. It looks like we're very close to to being HIPAA uh, uh, approved. We have to do a bit a little bit of more work, a little bit more work. Sorry, I'm French native. A little bit more work to be HIPAA compatible. But I think we'll be in a few in a few weeks, a few months, not more than that. Yes. So how will you launch this app? You mean marketing-wise? Yes. Well, we can on you to install it. <laughs> <laughs> That's one step. Uh, we're going to do, a, we hope to do viral, like talk to, to people with a, our newsletter, with our friends and on social network, ask people to install it and to recommend it to their, yes? Yeah, but this is an impulsive uh, need of human beings. So every day, hopefully, I don't go to the doctor. So I have this need only when something goes bad or let's say something goes not too well. Yeah. So that's the moment where my attention, when something like this spikes my attention. Yeah. Okay. Then for the rest of my time, I'm not really kind of interested. Sure. So how do you go about? Well, you're talking about medical file, but we call it a health record. So it's a bit wider. So it's also for fitness and things like that, right? And there you, you go more often, right? If you have a number of device Fitbits or something like that, you, you put everything in, in your medical file, right? So it's not only for the sick people, it's also for the healthy people, or, and, and you can use it on, on those occasions. We, go, we tend to uh, market to also uh, to uh, young women that have uh, babies, right? Because at that time they, they want to follow uh, all the steps of, of the, the baby. Uh, and then the sick people, of course, they have a really or urgent need to use it, so that there's going to be those people that are more uh, that are, have a more urgent need to use the application, and then the people in very good health that don't care about that fitness, of course, of course, they're not going to be our main target. Yeah, so it's going to be progressive, probably. Yes. So this is the app display or web web page? No, it's a local app because for security reasons we don't store anything in the cloud, so we go a bit different very different from most of our competitors who store information in the cloud. We don't store any, anything in the cloud. It's a peer-to-peer -peer system, right? So all the information is on your device, right? It looks like a web page for some reason. Well, yeah, but it's not. Okay. I can assure you. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I don't have the, the I, I, I stop the Wi-Fi on, on the device. So there's no, no Wi-Fi over there. So you see that I have everything locally. Because if I want to travel abroad, if I want to enter information when I don't have a connection, then there's still a number of times when you don't have a connection. And we don't want to store it in the cloud for security reasons yeah. and privacy reasons and so on. Yeah. Yes? Uh, you don't use cloud. How do you handle the backups? OK. For the backup, we have a, a solution which is still anti-cloud. We will provide us. First, you can do the backup on your PC with iTunes or the applications that you currently use to make the backups. And the second solution we provide is a small application that you will run on your PC or your Mac that will act as, a, as an extra device. And you can synchronize all the information between your smartphone and your PC. It's not going to be an electronic health record on your PC. We don't want to do all of that. It's just going to be a new point of contact, if you want, a new synchronization point. And all the data on your iPhone, on your smartphone, uh, will be on the, the the backup on your PC too. So if you lose a smartphone, you buy a new one and you reestablish the connection, and you get all the data back. Plus, if you share it with your spouse, your doctor, and so on, your data is already in multiple places, right? So if they if they share the information with you, you can get all the information with back after after you lost your device, right? Yes. Will my doctor get a notification that I've updated it? Yes, today what we have is, is the first version of the product, right? So we have to improve it over time. But today there is a notification that there is new information in, in the file, right? In, because you entered some new, not something new. But if you take your, your blood pressure five times per day, we don't want to bother the, the, the doctor five times per day per patient, right? So that's going to be 
uh, too much. So we want to establish some kind of, of uh, priorities in notification so that if, if something is to be urgent, then you can, the doctor will be warned in, in a special way compared to just new information. So those, those are things that we're working on. But on the first version, there's just a basic notification. Yeah. One last question, guys. You want to ask one last question? Yes, sorry. Oh, uh, so how do you propose to get uh, doctors involved to share uh, data with the end customer? Yeah, uh, uh, there's a number of ways depending on, on how the doctor is uh, literate with computers or not. That's one thing, depending on the countries too, because the way doctors work in different countries are different. So there's, no one, there's not one answer. The thing is that if the doctor has a medical record on his PC, probably that's the main tool he wants to use. So our proposition is to, uh, will be to be a companion to that electronic health record, so he can take the information with him and have a quick look in this car if, if he needs to have a quick look because the patient is on the phone, something like that. If the, patient, if the doctor does not have a medical record in electronic, there's still uh, doctors that don't use them in different countries. They could use Andaman 7 as their full medical records. That's going to be very easy for them and very cheap. And there's also the, the thing that if the patient uh, are using the Andaman 7 and putting themselves information and information and, and correcting information, because in your medical file there's all, there's all very often things that are not very clear. Uh, if you could see your medical file, you will realize that that's it's not completely correct. And you want to, yes, really, uh, talk to doctors honest doctors. <laughs> they will tell you so. So if you can see your medical file and say, okay, this is not completely right, uh, you can fix it and the doctor will be happy because the, the medical file will be uh, better. So that's, there's a number of ways to, to convince the doctors, like uh, compliance of medications is very important too, right? There's 30% of patients that do not follow correctly the medication that they are prescribed. So if you can, in the application, say, okay, I took it today two times, and, and so on, this is going to be shared automatically with your doctor and he's going to have a, a better way of following up your medications, your compliance, and the connected devices will tell him, ooh, ooh his heart is, is, he has a high blood pressure today. So there's, there's a number of things that can be done easily with a mobile uh, device, which cannot be easily done with a, with a portable computer either or a, a classical PC or Mac. So that's it. All right, fantastic. Let's give a round of applause.